Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to quickly take a look at what we're building. Okay, so welcome to yet another application we're going to be building in this course. And it's essentially a responsive web design version of the YouTube app, okay? If you actually, in fact, go to YouTube and access it via, I think it's mobile.youtube.whatever, it'll look essentially like this, okay? So what I've got on my screen right now is basically a pixel two view in portrait mode. And we have the main title at the top. We have a thumbnail for what would be, what the, where the video would be placed, I guess. Then we have the title of the video, the number of views, some calls to action here, which are using grid to set that up. We've got the channel information and a subscribe button, which I've just called connect. And then I've got my relay video section, which has an up next and an autoplay area, right? And they're separated out. Then I have the list of each video, right? Where I have the thumbnail here on the left and the information on the right. And then basically each video takes up a row. As I come down, we've got a comment section, which is uh, basically toggle, toggleable. You can toggle it um, just like that. And that, when it's expanded, it has the person who's currently logged in next to the comment text field here or text area. And then underneath that, we have a list of all these different comments, you know, where the blue bit here is the person who is owning the video. So it's the video owner. So I'm using how to anything here. So they're labeled in blue, but we're using like a media objects layout to set that up. So we've got the thumbnail on the left, then the content on the right. And then basically we have thumbs up and thumbs down and, and different counts and all kinds of things here. And then we have responses. So there's the second part of the media objects layout here. So we have that too. And then just a more in-depth version of that here. Okay. So that is what it looks like on a Google Pixel in portrait mode. Now, if I move it into landscape mode and scroll down, everything's similar except that the comments have been pushed up to being underneath the channel details. So I'm gonna minimize that. And then directly under that, we have the relay videos, but this time we have two columns to represent the relay videos, right? So we have a video here and a video here, and then multiple rows of that. And you can see we scroll down to the bottom and that's it, okay? So that's what it looks like on a Google Pixel. Now, if I choose, let's say an iPad, and this is in portrait mode, well, it's gonna look similar to what you saw on the mobile, but the difference is we've got three columns for our videos here, okay? Other than that, it's pretty much the same. So if I open up the comments, it looks the same here, okay? However, if I put it into landscape mode, what you're going to see now is the comments, when we open it, will be taking up the remaining space here, like so, but the relay videos have gone back into a single column and they're on the very right-hand side of the screen, okay? And we can scroll up and down these without affecting this area. Cool. So that's what it looks like on an iPad in landscape mode. Now, if I go something a little bit bigger, say an iPad Pro, then once again, we still get a bigger version of what we've already seen and we even still have the three columns here, so nothing's changed there. However, when I rotate this to landscape, now we're getting two columns on the right-hand side here, okay? So this is what we're going to be building over the next set of videos. Now, what are we starting off with? Well, the answer is nothing. It's gonna be literally a blank screen, and we're gonna go step-by-step, step, building out all the individual features that we have in this application, okay? And in terms of the HTML we have, literally all we've got here is a HTML page with two link references in it, one to our style sheet and one to Google Fonts where I'm using the Roboto font, okay? And this is commonly used in the YouTube application as well. So that's why I'm using it. In terms of CSS, well, we don't have much here either. All I'm doing is seeing everything to have no margin, no padding, and we're using box sizing everywhere. And I'm making sure that the 
HTML and body are 100% high. And outside of that, I'm just setting the font family for the entire document to be Roboto and by default, 10 pixels high. Okay? So with all that in mind, let's get started. But we'll do that in the very next video. So I'll see you then.